Breaking news, Iran's new hypersonic missile, FATA, claims to outsmart even the world's top air defense, Israel's Iron Dome. Could this weapon truly rewrite global air power rules? Today, we dive deep into the science, strategy, and shockwaves shaking every military power on Earth. Stay tuned. You won't believe what's coming next. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about military breakthroughs of the decade, Iran's FATA hypersonic missile and how it could challenge Israel's famed Iron Dome defense system. The race between offense and defense has always shaped the future of warfare, but hypersonic technology is rewriting all the old rules. So what makes the FATA missile so special? According to Iranian defense officials, it can travel at speeds exceeding Mach 13 and maneuver during flight, making interception nearly impossible. That means in theory, even the Iron Dome, one of the most sophisticated air defense systems ever built, might not stand a chance, but is that claim realistic? Or is it more of a psychological and strategic move in the global power game? In this video, we'll break down how hypersonic weapons work, how the Iron Dome operates, and why this rivalry is making every major military power, from Washington to Moscow, pay attention. Let's begin with what hypersonic missiles actually are and why they're changing the world of defense forever. To understand why Iran's FATA is making headlines, we need to first understand hypersonic technology. Hypersonic missiles travel at speeds greater than Mach 5. That's over 6,000 kilometers per hour. But speed alone isn't what makes them dangerous. The real game changes maneuverability. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles that follow a predictable arc, hypersonic glide vehicles can change direction mid-flight, making them extremely difficult to detect and intercept. This means that even advanced radar systems get only seconds to respond. There are two main types, hypersonic cruise missiles, powered by air, breathing engines like scramjets, and glide vehicles, which are launched into space before gliding toward the target. FATA reportedly belongs to the second category. For decades, major powers like the US, China, and Russia have been racing to perfect this technology. Now, with Iran claiming to possess it, the balance of military deterrence could shift dramatically. This isn't just about one missile, it's about a new era where speed and unpredictability dominate. Next, let's look at how the Iron Dome works, the system designed to stop threats before they reach their targets. Israel's Iron Dome is one of the most recognized air defense systems in the world. Developed with U.S. support, it's designed to intercept short-range rockets, artillery shells, and even drones. The system uses advanced radar to detect incoming threats and then launches interceptor missiles, called Tamir, to destroy the mid-air before they reach populated areas. Since its deployment in 2011, Iron Dome has boasted interception success rates of up to 90%, making it one of the most reliable defense systems ever fielded. Each battery can protect a specific area, creating a layered shield over major cities. It's highly automated, requiring minimal human intervention. But there's a catch. It was built primarily to counter slower, unguided rockets from short distances, not hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic missiles like FATA move far faster and can alter course unexpectedly, making traditional interception methods almost useless. This raises a serious question. Can Iron Dome evolve fast enough to keep up with the next generation of missiles? To answer that, we need to understand what makes FATA unique and why Iran believes it's untouchable. Iran unveiled the FATA missile in June 2023, calling it the country's first operational hypersonic weapon. The name FATA, meaning the conqueror, reflects the confidence Iran has in its new defense capabilities. Officials claim FATA can reach speeds up to Mach 1315 and strike targets more than 1 400 kilometers away. It reportedly uses solid fuel propulsion, allowing for quicker launch times and greater stability compared to liquid-fueled systems but the real breakthrough lies in its control system. The missile is said to maneuver inside and outside the atmosphere, making its trajectory unpredictable, a nightmare for air defense systems. Iranian engineers have also focused on compact design and radar, absorbing materials which reduce detectability. Whether these claims are fully accurate is still debated, but the global military community is taking them seriously. The FATA is more than just a missile, it's a strategic message. Iran is signaling that it's entering the elite club of nations mastering hypersonic technology. Next, let's explore why this single missile could shift not just regional, but global power calculations. The FATA's emergence doesn't just affect Israel. It impacts the entire Middle East power equation. For years, the region's balance was maintained by Israel's superior technology and U.S. support. Now, Iran's progress threatens to challenge that advantage. If the FATA performs even half as claimed, it could serve as a deterrent against potential attacks on Iranian soil, making any military confrontation far riskier. This strengthens Iran's political leverage in negotiations with global powers. Countries like Saudi Arabia, the UAE, and Turkey are watching closely reconsidering their own defense needs. 
Meanwhile, Israel faces a dilemma, how to adapt its multi-layered defense, which includes Iron Dome, David's sling, and aero systems to face a hypersonic threat. The U.S. is likely advising on counter hypersonic measures, but developing and deploying such technology takes years. This shift could mark the start of a new regional arms race, not over nuclear weapons, but over hypersonic deterrence. Now let's examine the global reaction to FATA's announcement from Washington to Moscow. When Iran unveiled the FATA missile, global responses were immediate. Western analysts expressed skepticism but concern. The U.S. and Israel questioned Iran's technological capabilities, but acknowledged that even the attempt changes strategic calculations. Russia, already advanced in hypersonic technology, praised the achievement, viewing it as another sign that the Western monopoly on military innovation is ending. China also took note, potentially seeing Iran as a valuable future partner in missile research. Meanwhile, NATO nations worry that the proliferation of hypersonic weapons could outpace current defense systems. If countries like Iran can develop such tech, the era of assured defense might be over. Even nations without direct conflicts are now racing to upgrade early warning systems, radar networks, and interception methods. What's clear is that the FATA missile has sparked a new debate, not about whether hypersonics work, but how the world will defend against them. Next, let's break down the key difference between propaganda and proven capability. Is FATA truly battle ready or just a strategic bluff? Military technology is not only about hardware, it's also about perception. By announcing FATA, Iran may be engaging in psychological warfare, demonstrating technological confidence to deter its rivals. Experts point out that without verifiable flight tests under real combat conditions, it's difficult to confirm FATA's full capabilities. Some analysts believe Iran's goal is to send a message rather than to immediately deploy the weapon. Still, even the perception of a hypersonic threat forces opponents to adapt their strategies. Defense systems may need massive upgrades, costing billions. That alone gives Iran leverage without firing a single missile. Propaganda or not, this development proves that advanced military tech is no longer limited to superpowers. Smaller nations can now influence global defense thinking through innovation and timing. So while skeptics may doubt the FATA's operational status, its psychological effect is undeniable. Next, let's explore what future air defense systems might look like in a hypersonic world. The rise of hypersonic missiles like FATA is forcing military engineers to rethink everything. Traditional interception systems rely on predicting a missile's path, but hypersonics break that model. Future air defense will likely use AI, assisted tracking, laser-based interceptors, and space-based detection networks to counter extreme speed threats. The U.S. is already developing the glide phase interceptor, while Japan and Australia are testing satellite-linked radar for early hypersonic detection. Israel, too, has announced plans to integrate directed energy weapons into its next-generation defense systems. If successful, these could neutralize threats at the speed of light, restoring balance. But this arms race is expensive. For every new offense, there must be an even faster defense. The question is, who will innovate first, those developing the missiles or those trying to stop them? The next section explores how this competition could redefine geopolitics and global alliances. Hypersonic technology doesn't just shift military strategy, it reshapes alliances. Iran's advancements could deepen ties with Russia and China, both already leading in this field. Together, they could form a counterbalance to Western military dominance. On the other hand, regional powers like India, Saudi Arabia, and Egypt might seek closer cooperation with the U.S. and NATO for protection. The race to master or defend against hypersonic threats could drive a new global alignment based on technology rather than ideology. Economically, countries investing in defense innovation may see new industries rise, from material science to AI warfare systems. But it's also a warning. As hypersonic weapons spread, the margin for error shrinks, a misunderstanding could escalate into a global crisis in seconds. In essence, the hypersonic age is not just about speed, it's about responsibility. Now let's wrap up with what all this means for the future of global air defense. So, can Iran's FATA rewrite the future of global air defense? In a way, yes. Whether it's fully battle, ready, or still in testing, it has already forced the world to rethink security. The message is clear, no system, not even the Iron Dome, can remain unchallenged forever. The FATA symbolizes more than technology. It's the arrival of a new era where smaller nations can shape the strategic map. From the Middle East to Washington, from Moscow to Beijing, every defense planner now faces the same question, how do you stop what you can barely see? The answer will define the next generation of global stability. If you found this breakdown insightful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications because we're covering every major development in global defense, strategy, and technology. Drop your thoughts below. Do you think the Iron Dome can evolve fast enough to stop FATA level threats? Let's start the discussion right now.